Okay, here's our, our last problem. We got h of x equals 19 over 2x plus 8.3. Domain. No square roots. That's kind of nice. I've got a fraction. Got to make sure I don't divide by 0. Well, if I were to divide by 0, and that's the only thing I you know have to worry about, well, 2x equals 0 when x is 0. So x can't be 0. So your domain, negative infinity to infinity, no, negative infinity to 0, union, 0 to infinity. Right? We're describing the, n the set of numbers. That's everything, every real number except 0. Range. 2x is going to be everything except 0. So imagine what happens when you divide 19 by every single number not equal to 0. Right? Do you have the opportunity to make this really big? Like big positive? Sure. 19 divided by 0 0.00000000001. That's huge. Right? Sure, I can make that thing right there, that box. I can make that really big, positive. Can you make it really big negative? Yeah, I'll just put a negative there. And, and look, this number is in our domain. So you can make that thing there. You can make it really big positive. You can make it really big negative. Can you make it almost zero? Could you make it zero? How about could you make it zero? No, I can't divide 19 by anything and get 0. Like The only way to get 0 out of a fraction is to have 0 in the numerator. Could you make it really close to 0? Yes, you'd put a huge number in here, right? 10,000. How about do this? If you had a calculator, right? Take 19 and divide it by what we got. Uh, 1 billion here? Yeah. You're going to get something really, really small. So, we can make right, we can make this thing be everything except zero. Right. So this is going to turn into everything except zero. Now, we're going to add 8.3 to that. So take every number except zero every number except 0 and add 8.3. What numbers are you dealing with? Well, if I'm not dealing with 0, I'm not dealing with 0 plus 8.3, which is 8.3. So take every number except 0 and add 8.3. What numbers are you working with? Everything except 8.3. Right? So our range is negative infinity to 8.3. Union, 8.3 to infinity. Okay, last step is to find f inverse. So we've got y equals 19 over 2x plus 8.3. Subtract 8.3 from both sides. We're trying to isolate x. I'm going to multiply both sides by 2x. So I've got 2x times y minus 8.3 equals 19. I'm going to divide both sides by 2 times y minus 8.3. So I have x equals 19 over 2 times y minus 8.3. And that should be f inverse. So you can check it. right? So we'll do a quick check. Okay? If you plug 1 into f of x, f of 1 equals 19 halves plus 8.3. Okay, if I grab my calculator, 
19 halves plus 8.3. Seventeen point eight. Okay, so we said when x is f of one is seventeen point eight. So if you plug in seventeen point oh, I should have made this an x. If you plug in seventeen point eight here, we should get back to one. So I'll grab my calculator. Nineteen divided by. 2 times 17.8 minus 8.3. We're back to 1. So we gave it a quick check. It's not the most thorough check you can do, but it's, it's very, very quick. Um, so here is F inverse.